Welcome to this week's episode of Look Out Local. I'm Karen. And I'm Laura, and we're filming on site right here at Anytime Fitness in Nature Coast Commons. cover local arts and entertainment, businesses, restaurant, and local life events that span from Citrus County all the way through Pinellas County. New episodes air each Wednesday, so don't forget to follow us on Facebook or you can subscribe to our newsletter at lookout-local.com. This week we're covering January 5th, 6th, and 7th. But first, a look at the weather and your local business snapshot. Hi, I'm Marissa and I'm here with your weather brought to you by Anytime Fitness Nature Coast Commons. The chill is staying through the weekend with the highs in the 50s and reaching the 60s on Sunday. Here at Anytime Fitness Nature Coast Commons, we're supporting your new year, new you resolutions by offering a $1 sign up fee until the end of January. Are you looking for a happier, healthier life? I'm Angela Peso, owner of Anytime Fitness at Nature Coast Commons, and here in our gym, we are helping our members to do exactly that. In our open, spacious gym, as well as a spacious studio, where any time of the day or night, you can choose from thousands of virtual classes. Join us in taking those first steps to your happy, healthy life. For more information, please contact us at 352-606-2842. Follow us on Facebook and on our website at www.anytimefitness.com. Kick off the weekend right with the Rock the Columbia. That's right, this event features live music and they have eight bands that are going to kick off the night on Friday evening and it's going to run through all day Saturday. That's right. Now they have, like Laura said, it's live music. This is a rock band. So if you want to get in touch with your rock or, or get re-engaged and kick the year off, come on out. In addition to all the music, they're going to have food and vendors on site to help keep you entertained. Did you not get something you wanted for the holidays? Pop on out and see what all those local businesses have to offer you to kick off this new year. Now, this isn't just a rock concert. It is actually a benefit and a portion of the proceeds are going back to the Red Apple School. That's right. The Red Apple School is a school where they help adults with disabilities. It started back in 1996 and to this day they're helping over 140 students in their two locations. So make sure you pack up and plan early and come on out and support the Rock the Columbian and the Red Apple School. It's a new year, it's a new you, and it's time for new blessings. On Saturday you can head to Tarpon Springs to the Sponge Docks where they're going to celebrate the epiphany of 2018. Now this does kick off on Friday afternoon at noon where they're going to be meeting at the sponge docks and blessing the waters, the fishermen and the ships so that as they go out they are safe and they can come back home. On Saturday we're going to come back at 8 and 10 they're going to have some epiphany ceremonies which will be followed by the actual epiphany event itself. Thousands of people, the clergymen, the archbishop and other local businesses will gather around the spring bayou where they'll release that white dove and do the retrieval of that cross. Following their ceremony, they're going to have a festival in the church courtyard where they'll have the opportunity to surround the church with live dancing, food, drinks, and tons of activities for the kids. They're going to have live, live Greek dancers come out where they can perform. And don't forget all that amazing Greek food over there that the sponge shocks are known for. Don't forget to come out and support the Spring Hill Marathon Mania. It doesn't matter what your experience is because they have everything from a marathon, a half marathon, a 10K, a 5K, and even cycling. This is going to start at Anderson Snow Sports Complex and Park, and it's going to travel down the Suncoast Parkway. So no matter what your experience is, it's flat land and beautiful scenery. And since this will take place on the Suncoast Trail, you don't have to worry about traffic or those large hills. It'll be a flat, beautiful, scenic course for you to enjoy. Now, one of the cool things about this event is that it is a qualifier for the Boston Marathon. So if that happens to be on your bucket list or your goals for the upcoming years, head on out and get qualified right at the beginning of the year. Now, they do have top prizes for overall male and female, which is trophies for the first three in each of those categories. Each runner will receive a finisher's medal and breakfast after their run. There are also cash prices for the overall top three winners. So the third place winner is going to receive $100. Second place comes in at $250 and the first place grand prize winner is going to go home with $500 that day. 
What a great way to start off your New Year's resolutions or get in shape or do some family things or come on out and celebrate those that are running that marathon or trying to get qualified. This week's local art feature takes place in Pinellas County and it's the 21st annual Downtown Dunedin's Art Festival. Now, this does take place over two days, Friday and Saturday, and runs from 10 to five on both of those days. So whether you're looking for a specific piece or an all new look, come out and join our local vendors where they have everything from sculptures, ceramic, photography, and even glass art available. And if you're looking for that perfect painting to add the right mood to your collection, then you can definitely stop by, meet these artists, you could commission your own artwork, and you can actually find out what inspires them to be so creative and artistic. Now, downtown Dunedin is one of the oldest towns in West Coast, Florida, and it's got a beautiful waterfront which you'll be able to walk by and stroll in this amazing scenery as you participate in this annual art festival. This is a pet-friendly event, so be sure to pack up your pooch, just don't forget the leash. If you'd like more information about this event or any of our other events, head on over to our website at lookout-local.com. But stick around because a look ahead is coming up next. Hey, this is Stephen Paletta with Bonefish Grill. I just wanted to say thank you to the community for welcoming us. We partner with local charities and nonprofit organizations and local events to give back to the community. This is our way to say thank you for supporting us. And to find out more about our partnerships and donations, please contact me at Steam Paletta at Bonefish Grill. Come in and stop in and check out our new fire and ice menu. It's here at Bonefish Grill and Cortez Commons. We open every day at 11 a.m. and step on Sundays at 10 a.m. for brunch. Now, we know you love beer, and we know you love bacon, so what better way to celebrate than on this week's A Look Ahead, which is our St. Pete's Beer and Bacon Festival. This will take place on January 20th, so make sure you mark your calendar. Kicks off at 1, ends at 6, and it will be taking place at Vinoy Park down there in St. Pete. That's right. This event is going to feature over 60 craft beers, you guys, over 20 cocktail samplings. There's going to be fun games, prizes, the whole shebang. You don't want to miss it. In addition to all the brews, the cocktails, and the bacon, they are going to have live music. Now, they will have Pitbull Toddler out to perform and the super villains to help keep you entertained. There are different admission packages you can get from VIP all the way through general admission at different prices. But children 10 and under are free to attend. This is an event that supports the Pet Cow Animal Shelter. Many of the proceeds go there, so don't forget to bring out your pet. Don't forget your leash and be sure to bring plenty of hydration for them. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode. If you have an event you would like considered for an upcoming episode, go to our website and submit an event form. Happy New Year, happy new you, and here's to, to working, working out. out.